Quest Ring for Six, and this is our dead digital submission, Captain Catton and the Argonauts. I'm Jack, I'm the project leader. My specialisation areas are design, production and marketing. I'm Sam, I'm the lead artist, I specialise in character design. I'm George, I'm the lead animator. I specialise in animation and environment design. Our other two team members are Hongji and Chi. They are programmers who have experience in Unity. The initial platform in itself is part of the unique selling point. The Ouya is a new console catered for independent developers. Being a new market, there are a lot of new IPs from new developers that wouldn't get greenlighted for the more mainstream consoles. This provides developers the opportunity to take more risks. Unlike many modern multiplayer games, such as online FPSs or MOBAs, we're aiming towards a local cooperative experience similar to coin-operated side-scrolling arcade games. The target demographic is quite wide due to the variety of art style and overall style of the game. While the art style might reflect a younger demographic, the content and humour will be subtly aimed at an older demographic. Because of these factors, it focuses on a target audience from the ages of about 7 to 35. This will probably weigh slightly in favour of a male audience, but explicitly is not targeted towards them. Pirates are an iconic aspect of history and have been portrayed in many forms of media. It only seemed fitting to bring them to a new platform. There are three playable characters to choose from, each with their own objectives and playstyle. These are the Captain, the Juggernaut, and the Scoundrel. The Captain is the flamboyant and overzealous leader of the pirate crew. His objective is to find and defeat the enemy Captain. He does this by going to the Captain's quarters and following a trail to the whereabouts of the enemy Captain. The Juggernaut is the dim-witted but heavy-fisted muscle of the group. His objective is to destroy key components of the enemy ship. The Scoundrel is an agile and greedy thief. Her objective is to find and steal the enemy's treasure. The Captain will find the enemy Captain in their quarters, in which they will run away to a different location on the ship, leaving a trail to follow. At the end of the trail, you will find the enemy Captain, who you will fight or will run away, repeating this process until the Captain is defeated. When you finally fight the enemy Captain, a meter will appear above your head. You must repeatedly tap a button to defeat the enemy Captain. The Juggernaut will seek out key elements of the enemy ship. As he approaches the objective, he is prompted to start repeatedly tapping a button. If he taps fast enough in the short time given, he damages the objective. He then repeats this until the objective breaks. The Scoundrel's objective is to find the enemy's treasure by exploring the ship whilst avoiding enemy pirates. When the treasure is found, a minigame starts, prompting the player to repeatedly tap a button to put treasure into a bag. The amount of treasure required is determined by the success of the minigame, meaning the player may have to make several trips. Through the level, there will be several obstacles hindering the players from achieving their objectives. These include large iron doors, floor hatches, crawl spaces and enemy pirates. The Juggernaut can use his strength to open the door, but because of his size, he cannot fit through it. However, the door being open means that the Scoundrel and the Captain can go through the door. The Scoundrel is able to pick the lock to open the door also allowing the captain to go through. The captain, however, cannot open the door by himself. The scoundrel can open the hatches and travel through them, leaving them open and accessible to the captain. The captain can also open hatches and travel through them, allowing the scoundrel to follow him. The juggernaut can open the hatches. However, he cannot fit through the small opening. Crawl spaces are only accessible to the Scoundrel, and allow her to traverse the map quickly, avoiding obstacles that she may not otherwise be able to surpass. The Juggernaut uses his brawn to pummel the enemy into submission. This is the most effective way of dealing with enemies. The Captain is capable of dispatching enemy pirates with his trusty cutlass, which is a fairly efficient way of dealing with them. The Scoundrel, however, isn't the greatest fighter. For the event, we'll be creating a single, highly polished, playable level for up to three players for Protoply. There will be a working alpha of the game up and running by the end of the second week. All the visuals will be in the game by the end of the fifth week. By the end of the eighth week at the latest, the game will be made and ready for the Protoplay event itself. During the nine weeks, we will constantly be having meetings and be playtesting our game. We've been Swing for Six. This has been Captain Catman and the Argonauts. Thank you very much for your time.